Welcome to the fascinating world of cell division, the very mechanism that fuels the growth, repair, and reproduction in all organisms. Our exploration today focuses on a particular type of cell division known as mitosis. Mitosis is an intricate dance of nature, a process so fine-tuned that it ensures every new cell receives a complete set of chromosomes. This is crucial for the continuity of life, as any mistakes in this process could lead to severe consequences, such as genetic disorders or even cancer. From the tiniest microorganisms to the largest mammals, mitosis is a universal biological process that is constantly occurring within us and around us. It's a testament to the marvel of life's complexity and resilience. So how exactly does this intricate process of mitosis work? Let's delve deeper. Before a cell can divide, it needs to prepare itself. This phase is known as interface. Imagine a cell as a city. The first stage, or the G1 phase, is when the city expands. The cell grows in size, creating more room for the upcoming division. The city is bustling, with new buildings rising and infrastructure strengthening. Next, we arrive at the S phase. This is when the city's blueprint or the cell's DNA is duplicated. Every single detail is meticulously copied, ensuring the new cell will be a perfect twin of the original. Finally, we reach the G2 phase. This is the final prep before the big event. In our city, it's like making sure all systems are functioning smoothly from water supply to electricity. In the cell, it's confirming that DNA replication was successful and the cell is ready for division. Now, with all the preparations done, the cell is ready to divide. The first phase of mitosis is prophase, where the cell starts to visibly change. In this stage, the cell's chromatin thickens into chromosomes, each made up of two identical sister chromatids. These are the genetic blueprints that the cell will pass on to its two offspring. As the chromosomes condense and become visible, the nuclear envelope, that protective boundary around the nucleus, begins to dissolve signaling the start of an intricate dance of division. Simultaneously, another crucial event is taking place. The formation of the mitotic spindle, a structure essential for pulling the sister chromatids apart, is underway. This structure, made of microtubules, originates from two opposite ends of the cell, known as centrosomes. Like invisible puppet strings, the spindle fibers reach out and attach to the chromosomes ready to orchestrate their movement. And so, with the chromosomes condensed, the nuclear envelope disappearing, and the mitotic spindle formed, the stage is set. With the stage set, the cell moves to the next phase. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up, and in anaphase, they separate. Let's dive deeper into this captivating dance of the chromosomes during metaphase and anaphase. Picture an imaginary line drawn across the center of the cell, this is the metaphase plate, and it's on this stage that our chromosomes take their positions. During metaphase, the spindle fibers, like invisible puppet strings, guide the chromosomes to align perfectly along this metaphase plate. Each chromosome, made up of two sister chromatids, aligns at the cell's equator, preparing for the next dramatic act. This precise alignment is crucial as it ensures that each new cell will receive one copy of each chromosome. Now, with the chromosomes all lined up and ready, the curtain rises on anaphase. This is where the magic really happens. The sister chromatids, which have been holding hands since their creation, are now pulled apart. This is no gentle separation though. The spindle fibers shorten tugging the sister chromatids apart with a force that would make a tug-of-war team envious. The sister chromatids, now individual chromosomes, are pulled to opposite poles of the cell. It's as if they're on two different roller coaster tracks, zooming towards opposite ends of the cell. This ensures that each new cell will have a complete set of chromosomes, a perfect genetic blueprint. The anaphasis stage is quite swift, a blink and you'll miss it kind of moment. But it's this rapid separation that sets the stage for the next act in our cellular drama. It's fascinating, isn't it? How these tiny structures within our cells carry out such complex and vital processes with precision and finesse. 
It's a testament to the intricate design and the unfailing reliability of biological systems. With the chromosomes at their respective poles, we are now ready for the final act of mitosis. Telophase and cytokinesis mark the end of mitosis. As we delve into the final stages, the curtain begins to close on our cellular drama. During telophase, the chromosomes, now at opposite ends of the cell, start to unwind. As they relax, a new nuclear membrane begins to form around each set, creating two separate nuclei within the same cell. This is like the cell setting up two separate rooms for the newly formed chromosome sets. And then, the grand finale, cytokinesis. This is where the cell takes a bow and splits into two. The cytoplasm, the cell's lifeblood, divides evenly to supply each new cell. This is like a magician splitting a hole into halves. The cell membrane pinches in the middle, sort of like a waist, until finally, it cinches together and separates, forming two distinct cells. And just like that, one cell has become two. A marvel of nature's infinite wisdom, wouldn't you agree? Mitosis, as we've seen, is a complex, yet fascinating process. It's the dance of life at a cellular level, choreographed with precision and purpose. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane. First, we stepped into the preparatory phase, the interface, where the cell gears up for division, duplicating its DNA and organelles. Then, we moved into the prophase, where the chromosomes condense and the nuclear envelope breaks down. Our journey continued through the metaphase, where chromosomes align in the middle of the cell, and the anaphase, where sister chromatids separate and move to opposite ends of the cell. Finally, we witness the telophase and cytokinesis, where two new nuclei form and the cell splits into two daughter cells. And let's not forget the true stars of this show, the chromosomes, carrying the genetic information and playing a pivotal role in cell division. Next time you see a living organism, remember, it all started with a single cell dividing again and again through the magical process of mitosis.